Music plays an integral part in the life of any seminary. Since its foundation in 1611, the UST Seminary has never wavered in training seminarians in this noble undertaking. Seeing the need to organize a group of dedicated seminarians who will sing in the university's most solemn events, a seminary choir was organized. According to the earliest existing records, a choir composed of seminarians was already existing as early as 1934. During that time, it was named as the Scola Cantorum. Since then, they were to grace the Philippine Church's musical landscape as they carve a name of their own in sacred music specializing in Gregorian chant. The focus of the choir was liturgical celebrations with some veladas and mini-programs once in a while. One of their greatest achievements was perhaps to sing for the 23rd International Eucharistic Congress held in Manila in 1937. Under the baton of Maestro Señor Faustino Villacorta, the seminary music director, the seminarians filled the huge Rizal Memorial Stadium with their heavenly tones with no less than the papal legate himself as the presider, His Eminence Dennis Cardinal Doherty. Through the years, the choir has grown and proven itself worthy of the accolades it has rendered. The members traveled to different parts of the country to sing in their most solemn religious occasions. During summer, the group would perform in an open-air concert in Pampanga, as during those times, seminarians would stay in Hacienda Dampe for the summer break and apostolate. With resilience, the choir maneuvered itself through the changing corridors of time. While the Pontifical Seminary was home to many music organizations such as the Harmonium Band and the Seminary La Orquesta, it was the seminary choir that has survived and remains surviving all through these years. With their remarkable rise came also moments of slumber. In the 1970s to the early 1980s, the choir was to be reorganized and receive a new title, Acts and Potencies. For three years since its organization, it consistently won the first prize in university-wide choral competitions. In the year 1976-1977, the group was on its peak. The seminary choir represented the whole university in one of the most prestigious choral competitions of that time, the Canciones Regionales. As though this was not historical enough, the seminarians proved to be more than what meets the eye. True to its tradition of excellence, the Acts and Potencies won the said competition inscribing their alma mater's name in the Philippine music scene. In the seventh regular concert at the Puerto Real Gardens, the group was invited to sing, and in the Christmas of 1980, the seminary choir performed with the country's top performers at the Philippine International Convention Center. For some time, the group saw a period of decline with its brief revival in 1982 under the name Logos. A few years later, it was to rise like a phoenix from the ashes as it destined itself to reclaim its former glory, now with the new breed of talented seminarians under its new title, the Salterian. In Greek, the name signifies a stringed instrument. In 1987, the Salterian performed in the Concierto Ave Maria, sponsored by the University of the Philippines, along with some of the country's famous singing groups, such as the UP Concert Chorus, the De La Salle Chorale, the Tiple de Santo Domingo, and the Philippine Madrigal Singers. The seminary choir has indeed outgrew its beginnings. From sacred music, the group has widened its scope and began staging annual concerts. Among their notable concerts were Metanoia and Noel. Among others, with the old Scola Cantorum, the acts and potencies reminisced the rhythm of the 50s, felt the pulse of the 60s, captured the beat of the 70s, and hummed the melody of the 80s. With Songtrek and Salterian's very own concert series in the 90s, Hanggang sa Muli, Ang Bagong Ugong ng Salterian, and Buhay at Musica, among others. 
In the late 90s, the Salterian was proud to launch their album on the liturgical prayers of the USD Central Seminary. In 2007, the group staged a concert at the USD Museum of Arts and Sciences titled Ang Muling Pagsibol, marking a new chapter in its history. From the time of its foundation, the seminary choir has produced not only distinguished priests but also bishops. In recent years, Bernardito Auza, Jose Rojas, Julius Tunel, Julito Cortez, and Antonieto Cabahog. From the choir rose forth a special scholar with traces of its identity existing to this day through the seminary quintet. Perhaps one of the most important legacy of the Central Seminary to religious music is the formation of the Escuela de Tiple de Seminario Central, USD. When the image of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary of La Naval was transferred from Intramuros to the USD Chapel in 1942, the Tiple became part of the Central Seminary Choir. For many years, the Tiple and the Scola Cantorum would sing as complementary choirs in many special and famous occasions. At present, the Salterian boasts of a 25-piece vocal ensemble under the able and committed directorship of Mr. and Mrs. Christopher and Mary Rose Coronel of the USD Conservatory of Music. Since the dawn of its existence generations ago, the Salterian continues to live up to the challenge of sharing God's glory through music, like a stringed instrument in the skillful and loving hand of the Master.